Hey fellow world warriors, it's Angry Territor reporting from public test server and unfortunately that's an episode of Angry Sad Territor Noises. Flamer. The Flamer, the one of our favorite weapons, is getting a fix that everyone asked for, but not in the way you asked for it. And let me explain. First, it is related to vaporization nozzle. As so far, and still on the live game version, wherever you log in into new server, you probably swap the barrel to short and back to long again to restore the range on the flamer with vaporization nozzle. As otherwise, if you don't do that and you use vaporization nozzle, you have situation like this one. Now this guy is too far to be hit by a flames. I'm closer, now he will get hit by a flames. And then I get even closer and now he will not get hit by the flames because they go behind him. Therefore, to use the flamer with vaporization nozzle, you need to be in about perfect range, too far good too close then it's very small range when you actually are hitting enemy and what you would probably like to see is it working in a cone like you see those flames but it is not the case you actually need to directly hit the target you can see on the wall there is impact animation i'm a little bit farther yeah i can hit that now now I'm too far. I move closer and now I'm hitting the wall. It's like very small window when you can do damage with vaporization nozzle. Therefore, we used to just swap the barrel. If you are using flamer, you're familiar with this process. When you go into the workbench, you change to standard barrel, back to long, and you should have a full flamer wrench. No more. It was fixed. Everyone wanted a fix to keep the full flamer wrench without swapping the barrel. Instead, we are getting a fix that getting full flamer wrench with vaporization nozzle, nozzle is not possible. And none of the existing bugs for this nozzle related to not hitting enemies are fixed. If they would fix it correctly, I should have like a cone-like attack and it should be hitting even if I'm touching enemies. Like there is absolutely no sense that if I'm touching enemy, I cannot hit him with a flamer. Therefore, it is really tricky to use with vaporization nozzle and no way to fix the wrench. Therefore, I don't think anyone will be using vaporization nozzle anymore after next patch that is coming unless Bethesda will fix something. I'm trying to do this video as early as I discover this, as I do hope they will just fix it as we requested, which means give the wrench to vaporization nozzle, not take it away. As you can see, the damage difference between other two nozzles is huge. Compression nozzle is like the worst from both worlds. Wrench is still reduced, not as badly reduced, and damage is just slightly improved. And then we have a regular nozzle that offer a good wrench, like it always was, but really much lower damage. Standard nozzle. You can see how far it is. It's hitting the station from in here. Then it's a decent wrench. Vaporization nozzle is like none. And that's basically all I wanted to talk in this video about. I just want Bethesda to start fixing the things in the way that it makes sense. And that's what I was talking long time ago when we were all asking to fix the barrel bug. I was saying be careful everyone or they will fix the barrel bug in the way that you will never get the wrench. And exactly that just happened on public test server and if nothing changes in two weeks 
this change will go live. This being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.